it's always gonna get you in. What? What? I'm a rocket. Who says we ain't in the building? Who says we ain't into building? We the Morris Master Masons, architects for your children, rapping Friday 30s like Jason without the killing. But we promote life, oh, it's all about the feeling. And we invoke light, yo, we them light beings. Though you might see him on the block getting his posture, might be talking to cops, giving them caution. Occasionally wearing his fez when he's walking, see the turning heads, whispering, gawking. But he's locked in, and he's zoned out, why we boxed in, in our own house. We study the mystics, the adepts, the magi, wisdom of the ancients can all calcify eyes. Possible mission, free mental numbness, extract the substance with minds of darkness. Use the source, don't care what some purport, as we know by being told man knows not. Many before the four souls got bought, placed in the devil's hands, ruling the seven lands. Dogma rituals, Negro spirituals, brainwash subliminal, keeps thinking to a minimal. They're still criminal in a world digital, so pitiful. Mental survival, so critical, it's visible. Can you see past writers, bugs? Hashtag zombies with waves of cyber fun. No need for cell phones, they speak through saw palms. It's nothing for alarm, chips and forearms. When brass and bass, such a beautiful serenade. Women feeding me grapes, I'm feeding the Guinea serenades. Whether this guy is clear or great, rain when you hear a fake, giving life to see, speaking through. Not here today Show you the future in a glimpse Again, I was linked to these homes like hallucinatory games Sun walked the desert Been more ever since I found God Look back, used to see his friends Forget being a prince, I'm a G OD, grown man, no Jody Deny you, you don't know me Don't make me tap into the old me That's like a couple hundred years Walk around town with a couple hundred peers And release the peace of up fears The sun gon' shine, so what tears? This young brother here just trying to get his third eye clear This deep, moors don't sleep Invest in your mind and body and unleash Real life rap, spitting over tracks Conscious thinking and living a dead attack This deep, moors don't sleep Invest in your mind and body and unleash yeah. Real life rap, yeah. spitting over tracks yeah. Conscious thinking uh -huh. and living a dead attack So as the moon sets, the sun takes its place It spoons on blocks, inspired spots, filled spaces Back. Rats, huh, who got cases Fire stain the corridors of flammable faces Game changers, rule benders and no pretenders Style lenders, channel my vibe through the vibe with optic lenses Send a message to our veterans Soldiers up and get it in We on our verge, we on merge subliminal beings Third eye seeing, still I participate unwilling They wanna break me, shake, bait, break me Rollin' with my main G, double OMG S-O-N is crazy for a minute that you think you could take me For a fool like a native to his land be in school by a foreign dude You've mistaken me, spot is on the roof In the dark rooms, I've been saying you've mistaken me You better move for our market My weapon is my tongue, your existence to target Revealing all lies and deceit on the market Genocide, carry round and park it, I knock it Down bulldozer, David took a lie if it's an exposure Have some big cats ruling and it's getting closer To your downfall, round up on your soldiers Little homie, I was seeking a fortune, tired of misfortune, I just wanted a portion, everything that I never had, though I needed my portion, blowing like porcelain, haters battling as porcelain, dead broke, tired of being broke, how we acquire hope is the DJ still has some dope, just to keep us afloat, mind as deep as the boat, brain is a lethal weapon, we want need to below, when I speak I'm a boat. Walk in the room with my aura feeling like heavy smoke Feel like when they let me grow Under my Louis Vinny to send me poke Cause then we cops to kill your boy, yeah, the joke The cost of living, higher profits to private prison These little girls are selling bodies just to pay for wishing These little niggas get selling niggas just for build condition It's like this lady never end up with the end of mission I wanna free the world, but I'm one man A couple ones like me, let me one plan I wanna free the world, but I'm one man A couple ones like me, one plan Hate step, exotic doctrines, forgotten men Woo! Back in the street, folks, take notice 
come and take a look. Ain't no half stepping, ain't no halfway crook. You're halfway on the page, I finish the book. Take notice, rhyming in circles within these squares. Chalk us up with X appears. Short here, I don't care. Stay natural, I appear. Walking on land, feeding like air. Take notice, bitch, come here. Uh, she said a judge is friend, it's your worst enemy. They Judas me a long time before Brutus befriended me. Take notice, Drew Ali laid the foundation. A stone fused by a builder is his own destruction. Dysfunction, cause he's so color function. And anything after black is a fiction. Fact. Be a victim, not a victim. You make it hard to listen, but I'm here to uplift him. Take notice, you're more than the sky's limit. You're a star, just live it. They're gonna get you. Tell me, mama said it. Said it killed him before COVID. Along with a hundred other realistic. Take notice, a finger on my child, I lose it. Loose. And for that finger, you lose it. Tie you to a pole and stole you for amusement. Huh. Speaking about amusement. Take notice, more that I focus. Change with the knowledge, move with a purpose. So if you come in clown, then Morocco is a circus. Take notice, offer and accept it. You sign a contract when it triggers your emotions. Take notice, try to change my life. And you compare the profit to polite. Cause you don't know the magnitude, you can see the light. You sell out the movement for a bag of rice. Take notice, we agree to practice. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Five principles, five titles. We focus. Article 50, that's where your hope is. The great seal, now you see what my point is. Take notice, taxis, new access. They shoot situation instead of bullets. The public can't comprehend the weapon silent. King Alfred, read it. Take notice, the sure or the facto. Imperial persona or a negro. Shadow, stunt double. Natural people, the world's in trouble. Nationalities, the order of the day. Else and base. Indigenous everywhere, even in caves. Take notice, thoughts on the mind, there's no limits. And I'm created in the image. So you can't bound the most high with human concepts. So you can't bound X bit all that gossip. Uh, I exist, break all illusions with an iron fist. Take notice, on God like self, more books, more shelves, more bush for the memory cells. LOL, you lower as hell, you blame it on the devil, don't lower yourself. Woo! What more can I do? You in denial and won't drink too. I'm pulling files just to see who's who. I want to bend and show you temples and move. Secret symbols looking like you, I notice. You're back asking the same question. That's how I know you didn't pay attention. Take notice. <laughs> Got fun. I had fun. Salute. Woo. North Star. Ace World. Before you question my estate, I'm not a minority. Why you so late? Majority rules, here comes the test fact. That's my hand in the form of a feet on the chest. That's a boom that is blessed like a moon and a crest. Major forever, infinite mindset. Major from birth, that's a seed in process. I'm a more that is easy to digest. Competent, never terrenalious. That is my land, never faking. Sacred traditions, petitions for what you're not Jamaican. Lowest no plan, support more. Everybody needs more. If you please more, uh. Following the apostles, we should read more. I see the unseen more. We more. More, that's more, a more, fact. more, more. Gain it less. They say they want to learn, learn. complain.
discipline, classes are too long Don't want it on a phone call, energy too strong Get it from the wrong source, now they way off course Think they must be Muslim and give up on all sports Should give up the red meat, must give up on all porks Won't be yelling haram when the bottles are uncorked Eating with the spoon, use forks for tuning Eating humble pie, no ego ballooning Samson two caterpillars, got them cocooning As the full moon hung, spiral energy moving Up through the crown chakra, energy shooting And told me upload classes before live YouTubing 16,000 subscribers, 20% consuming 80% troll pretending to be tuned in Release for, release for, release for, release for, uh, uh, release for, 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 release Major forever, infinite mindset Major from birth, that's a seed in process I'm a more that is easy to digest Competent, never terrenalious That is my land, never vacant Sacred traditions, petitions For what you're not Jamaican Lois Milan, support more Everybody needs more, we feel please more uh, Following the apostles, we should be more I see the unseen more, we more More, that's more, more, fact. more, more, more Daily Say they want to learn, complain, classes are too long Don't want it on a phone call, energy too strong Get it from the wrong source, now they way off course Think they must be Muslim and give up on all sports Should give up the red meat, must give up on all porks Won't be yelling haram when the bottles are uncorked Eating with the spoon, use forks for tuning Eating humble pie, no ego ballooning Samson two caterpillars, got them cocooning As the full moon hung, spiral energy moving Up through the crown chakra Energy shooting and told me upload classes before live YouTubing 16,000 subscribers, 20% consuming 80% troll pretending to be tuned in Comment on every video, pushing the thumbs down We'll push the link when we live just like a clown Pouring in the incompetence, always debating Dissing Drew Ali but won't give the location His image on the black banner, that's vacation Just get him out of here, Yusuf yells in frustration We know they're playing games, we're not berating Calling 911, Shimitar is penetrating In defense of prophets and mothers abused And newly awakened moors amused and confused Common sense was made before book sense. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense Quick. Legendary, bury me in the north gates. Cemetery, February the fourth day. Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day. Independence alarm, me similar to a lost case. With case laws, we break them down like Jericho. Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho. I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio. Fake pandemics announced over the radio. Common sense was made before book sense. Canaan Land Moors presents. Comment, comment, and we Legendary, bury me in the north gates. Cemetery, February the fourth day. Son of Mary, day. Ahead of my born day, independence alarm makes it a little of a lost case. With case laws, we break them down like Jericho. Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho. I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio. Fake pandemics announced over the radio. Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains. I'm rock based, mixing with rock the hard way. I was in a lost state. Prophets told me 
me up right, call me to a lawn skate, cooking like I'm Sarpe, prepping like I'm Denzel, Malcolm X, Deja Vu, Roman J, Israel, and no, but you are in plain sight, the people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up, the state's still high, so the race still going up, warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up, born in the manger, sworn to be savior, walk through the valley of the shadows of the death, dipping slavery, looking for life, the book of Genesis, astro plane entrances, invoke the nemesis, abstract images of past life's kicking in, danger, running for your life, you're finishing, Morris Lamar, key man or oracle, using trinity powers, decipher allegorical, lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic, facts like a dirty more or a Drew Ali critic, calling him Thomas or Walter and get your face caved, or cut like a close shave, drowned in my brain waves, squashed my heat waves, activating Kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I in exile, reptile in Genesis, niggas appearing real, all I see is false evidence, they are feminists, stomped on by elephants, more like more prejudice, but want moreish benefits. Common sense was made before book sense. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense and Quick Legendary, bury me in the North Gates Cemetery, February the 4th day Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day Independence alarm, make civil litter a lost case With case laws, we break them down like Jericho Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio Fake pandemics announced over the radio Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains I'm rock face, mix it with rock the hard way I was in the lost day Prophets threw me up Right, brought me to a lost gate, cooking like I'm Sarpe, rapping like I'm Denzel, Malcolm X, Deja Vu, Roman J, Israel, and no, but you are in plain sight, the people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up, the state's still high, so the race still going up, warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up, born in the manger, sworn to be savior, walk through the valley of the shadows of the death, of the slavery. Looking for life, the book of Genesis. Astro plane entrances, invoke the nemesis. Abstract images of past life's kicking in. Danger, running for your life, you're finishing. Morris Lamar, key man or oracle. Using trinity powers, decipher allegorical. Lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic. Facts like a dirty more or a Drew Ali critic. Calling him Thomas or Walter and get your face caved. Or cut like a close shave. Drowned in my brain waves, squash my heat waves. Activating Kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I in exile, reptile in Genesis, niggas appearing real, all I see is false evidence, they are feminists, stomped on by elephants, more like more prejudice, but want moreish benefits, when you feel the cold magnetic resonance, apis horns of the sacred book are maleficent, great cosmic mothers, return to blissedness, no pestilence, ace all the testaments, tap into remembrance, never to forget again, use energy right, not put spell Effects on men wandering the earth plain with more they live shades keeps you a mental slave as the horizon fades. It's been decades since Christian crusades, not enough rebellions, too many vigil bouquets holding on to the fence, burning on doomsday. War ruled by Mars, it might be on a Tuesday. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense and Quick Week. What we do here is we add some common sense thinking to everyday situations or comments that may arise. Want to give it a try? Neither the brother choose to be black. Neither you choose to be a Bangladeshi or an Arab. Allah decide. And look at the beauty of this ayah. Allah never said Arab are better than non-Arabs. White are better than the black. Allah never said that. The reason Allah make us different, He make it very clear. Li Get to know each other. We have been together. But we fail to get to know each other. We are stranger coming to the Juma and we leave Juma like a stranger again. We don't even introduce us as I'm your brother from so country and can Alhamdulillah. What's wrong? Five minutes, ten minutes, you spend extra. Get to know each other. When you know each other, you can get closer. To each other. You learn how to love each other better. But we fail to do that. I didn't choose to be a Chinese. Neither the brother choose to be black. Neither you choose to be a Bangladeshi or an Arab. Allah decides. And look at the beauty of this ayah. 
Allah never said Arab are better than non-Arabs. White are better than the black. Allah never said that. The reason Allah make us different, He made it very clear. Li ta'arafu. Get to know each other. We have been together. But we fail to get to know each other. We are stranger come to the Juma and we leave Juma like a stranger again. We don't even introduce us that I'm your brother from so country and can alhamdulillah. What's wrong? Five minute, ten minutes you spend extra, they get to know each other. When you know each other, you can get closer to each other. You learn how to love each other better. But we fail to do that. I didn't choose to be a Chinese. Neither the brother choose to be black. Who choose to be black around here? Somebody choose to be black around here? Didn't Juali tell you more? Don't let these foreign Muslims on your rostrum. They're going to sweet talk you. to a lot of love and everybody has to whatever. But they're calling you black. And he has nationality. He has nationality. He call you black. Uh, Bangladesh has a nationality. called some other people white. And Arab. We already know what they're talking about, so stop the BS. But you're black, though. And then, our people's dumbass doesn't want to realize that when nationals call us black, it's because they see all us as one. Because they know we're one. They know this. It's not a secret. But what did he say? We choose to be called that. So that's what they're going to call us. Because we choose to call that. If we don't, don't even try to make more as that. Don't try to make more as Indians. Don't try to make more as Arabs. Don't try to make more as whatever you're saying that you think more are. We're descendants of Moroccans born in America. Talking for the ones here. Moors, wherever they're at, figure out your stuff and let us know what's up. We're talking about, Juali told us we're descendants of Moroccans born in America. So we're Moors. Moorish Americans should be specific because we're the Moorish of America because we're in America. We're not in Spain we're not in the continent of Africa. We're not the North African Berbers and all that. We're not, we're not any of that. We're Moorish Americans. And as Moorish Americans, we stick to Juali's program. And the theme of the program is uplifting fallen humanity and living by the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And whatever else you do after that, you, you do your thing. Just make sure you do these two things before you do anything else. Once you know about this, you better uplift fallen humanity. And then on top of uplifting fallen humanity, live by the principles. That's, that's all you have anything else no book that's going to give it to you and all that stuff it's going to be you that gives it to you and the clock's ticking if you haven't noticed the bread the bread is smaller and the price is higher even the slices are thinner if you didn't realize So because we're Moorish Americans, when, when we hear things like this, right, we have to take offense, offense. So it's not, it's not he's slandering or anything like that. One, Juali said, don't let these foreign Muslims on your ashram. So that's first. So, we're, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Because this is our this is our rush from here, and we already got those lessons about learn to love, and we should be loving too. We already got them lessons already. 
He's talking to the laymans. He's not talking to Moors who study. So because he's talking to laymans, he's going to say black. But guarantee, if you talk with this individual one by one, and we're fez up, turban up, and all that stuff, he's not going to play that black stuff with us. Guarantee you he's not going to play that black stuff with us. Because we're everybody's foundation. And everybody knows it. So we know they're talking to the laymans. But it's really to, one, let you know that they know. Because he called everybody by nationality. Only called your dumbass black. Everybody else had a nationality. And then two, he's telling you the same thing that Noble Drew Ali told you in the 20s. Learn to love instead of hate. Morris, live close together and all that stuff. Why are you doing that? Not to know each other? Isn't that what he's saying? Everybody has to... Every living thing is bound by a cord and all that stuff. Isn't that Quran lessons? Saying the exact same thing that Noble Drew is telling these people. And they are hear what Moors are saying. But again, listen to somebody call them black. And then, and then because they call them black, that's a hex on them. And then they miss the whole message that he's saying. Everything that Noble Drew Ali told these people in the 20s. Why don't you just listen to what Noble Drew Ali said? Oh, but no. More and more are being condescending and all that stuff. So, all right. All right. All right. So, I know an, another another major impactful thing that happened happened in 2007 and that was the announcement of the u.s support for the indigenous declaration of rights uh, uh, sure. u.s support of the united nations declaration on the rights of indigenous peoples yeah so when that hit i saw conversations even within whole communities start to shift yes right? people are aware now that and they took it for like because also as I said, you have this whole movement with within the Moorish community, or if, it, if it's rogue elements in the Moorish community, talking about status correction. Yes. And yes. Definitely identity, rogue. right? So yeah, now yeah. you have the status correction concept being merged with the announcement for the support of the United Nations Declaration of Rights of Indigenous People, which right. empowered people to identify as they perceive themselves, yes. right? So yes. you have this thought being coupled with this action, yes. and then you get an emergence of people starting to now decide they're going to re-identify, right, and create groups, you know what I'm yep. saying, create yep. movements, you know what I mean, that are now identifying themselves as indigenous or native or however, or toxins, however you, whatever word people want to use, whatever you want to use, all synonymous. And, and the crazy part about what you're saying, brother, those three words, yo, here's the crazy part. And and and, and this might be this might be um hard to hear for some people, pardon me. It might be hard to hear for some people or hard for, pe for some people to 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 stomach this, but all of them are all all three of those are culturally and socially ambiguous. Hmm. Every human being on the planet, for the most part, is aboriginal to somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it still doesn't tell you much. You see what I'm yeah. saying? But I think so. Yes, sir. Lanape is specific. Aboriginal, the term aboriginal is ambiguous it's just as ambiguous as african mm-hmm or negro or negro or black is right right, right. Mm. so right. so so yeah like um do you have any thoughts on uh, in terms of the uh u.n declaration absolutely from business people like anything absolutely. You add to it? what ended up happening you know, with a lot of people, especially especially who identify with being Moorish or Moorish American, they, they automatically presume because it's a declaration, let's use let's look at the wording, declaration on the rights of indigenous people. 
They took that to mean that that's some kind of international law because it came out of the United Nations. It came out of the United Nations, but it's a declaration. Mm -hmm. I can't. No, we but we didn't take that. We didn't take that as Moorish Americans because remember they made their little slick joke about status correction earlier, right? So they're they're directing their attack psychologically behind a veil. Because we already know, as soon as they bring up status correction, they're talking about rvbaypublications.com and all the stuff that they've been teaching for the past so much every year. Because he's more a science temple who are directly opposed to individuals going to rvbaypublications.com to go learn. They should go to the temple, according to these people. And that's where they should go to learn. Because Juali said so and, and, and all that. Right? But we're not looking at UN declarations as that's some type of international law. When we go to UN declarations of rights of indigenous people, Article 6, and it says every indigenous individual has the right to a nationality, immediately Moors looked at that as them honoring Noble Juali and what he brought in their declaration. And that is the international community that made this declaration. Nobody said that this is law or think this is law. Which, which, which Moors out there that study think that a declaration from some international community is some type of law? You know, we look at that because Nobu Juali said nationality is the order of the day to Moors. Nobu Juali told Moors what our nationality was. Nobu Juali told us that we're not Negro, Black, Colored, or Ethiopian, and that we have a nationality that we better proclaim and, you know, declare who we are. This is Nobu Juali in the 20s. So for some people in 2007 to pop up and say they were going to recognize nationalities, and these are international people, that's a prophecy of Nobu Juali. That's how we're looking at this. We're not looking at this how, how they're trying to put it. Oh, the people who look at, <laughs> look up declaration, that's going to tell you that that's not even really law. Nobody said that it was law. We said that it's the international community recognizing that you can't be stateless. And that you have a right to a nationality. These are the same divine rights that Nobu Juali told Moors that they're going to receive. How? Because these people are going to give up the goods to them. Because they're the only dummies on the planet that doesn't know. And they're the only indigenous people on the planet who want to be something other than themselves, which is Aboriginal and indigenous. And that you have certain rights. And we're going to give you a key. Article 6. Every indigenous individual has a right to a nationality. Then go read Nobu Juali's acts that he left for the Moors in the divine constitution. And it's saying the exact same thing. And then... Like the more said in the chat, they're not going to tell you that the UN declaration is in harmony, is in harmony with the Organization of American States Declaration of Indigenous People. Remember, American Declaration is not coming from some foreigners. It's coming from the indigenous people over here. Them having the same exact ideal being presented. That there's these people on the planet who have these certain rights. And can't nobody try to violate those rights. If they do, they're a criminal. And all you see happening is rights violations. But then they're going to disrespect status correction when that's the absolute reason why people get violated. Because they have no status. They're in a dead status.
they're in a dead status. So we're saying, we know this is not law. We study. But we know that the UN Declarations of Rights of Indigenous People is in harmony with Nobu Juali and what he taught the Moors with his acts and constitutions and that he presented. It's also simultaneously in accord with the American declarations from over here that they came with the same thing that everybody who's indigenous has a right to a nationality. So that's another prophecy of Nobu Juali. That nationality is still the order of the day. Because all these indigenous tribe whoever's that say that they're a nation never claim the empire. They always claim nation, right? All right, so if there's an empire and then people are claiming to be nations of the empire, but not mention the empire, what, is, what does that let you know? Obviously, the nation people aren't the people who are the, fir the first people because the, the first people would be the ones claiming the empire. Why would the first people claim nation and stop there? Why would they stop there? Find me some indigenous whoever that claims that claims the empire. Find me one. And if you're gonna mention one, there's only one you could mention, Nobu Juali. There's no one. Aboriginal and indigenous told you about the Moroccan Empire. No one told you about the Moroccan Empire. Only Nobu Drew Ali did. And if it's evident in stone that there were these people called Moors, then how, how, could, how could the people be in denial? And again, the fact of the matter that when you look at everybody else, all of them have a nationality and they're, they're prosperous. They're not complaining about, about stuff. They're doing for their nation. We want to do for our nation too, but don't realize that it's an empire. So no problem if you want to be Indian nations. You want to be Indian nations, no problem. Send some of your casino finance or whatever like that. Instead of buying your big mansions and all that stuff, assist the empire. Because you're a nation of something. You're not a nation of yourself. You know, we're the Lenape nation. A nation's part of an empire, so no, no empire talk, nothing, zero. They don't talk about empire ever, but they claim that they're the indigenous people. How are they, how are they indigenous and they're not talking about the empire? All they talk about is nations. Either they're ignorant of the fact or they're, they've stolen your birthright. And then they're playing the same game that the Negro black colored whoever's play with you. It's just an indigenous game now. Because I don't care who they say they are. They don't go past nation. You name the indigenous whoever's that go past nation. Name one. Because 
you know, we know when we say tribe to them, they're going to say, well, eh, tribe, and then they're going to start talking about nations. All right, fine. We're going to ride with you then. That, okay, is the nation. How come you're, you're not claiming the empire if you're a nation? How come you're not assisting the empire? Why are you making it seem like the Moors and the Indian nations so that there's a connection between them? Both of them are part of the empire. That's why there could there could be relations like that. That's why that could happen. Because they're part of the same empire. So why why wouldn't there why wouldn't there be unity? The people don't want to see the big picture. People don't want to see the big picture. They want to try to keep you shallow. Now we tell you more, they, they don't want you in the deep end, learning to swim. They want you with stuff at your ankles, talking about practice swimming. If you more has anything to add, just push the invite. Tell you how you're going to run your house. The United Nations can't tell the United States how it's going to run its house. Mm -hmm. It's a declaration, meaning what? Meaning that the United Nation recognizes no, that people have this right. It's not enforceable. You can't, you can't, man, you can't, you cannot run down on a police officer and show him an affidavit that says, oh, well, hey, the United Nations said, that's not enforceable. Stop. That's not law, people. Mm -hmm. It's not law. It's not even international law. It's not about that. It's not law. It's about that's the right. It's not about what the law is. It's about there's rights that exist and certain people have rights that are superior to other people. That's just what it is. And if they're foreign to somewhere, they have to recognize the rights of the people who were there before them. That's just what it is. If you don't like it, go back home. But that's only a civilized society. Because we're uncivilized. Because we're uncivilized. This is what we have to deal with now. We have to deal with uncivilization. We have to deal with, if you speak about your rights, they're going to violate you. Which, yeah, they will. Because that's checkmate. Because you're not supposed to know about rights. You're supposed to have want privileges from them every 50 years. But you're saying, well, because this UN declaration says about these rights, I'm going to start talking about these rights. And then you start talking about these rights, and all of a sudden people are dealing with you funny, and they don't want to, and then, well, you shouldn't, well, you're going to have to talk to the president and all that stuff just because you're talking about rights? When I was Negro and I was just going with the contracts, there was there was no fight. There was no issue. When they already got their finance, it didn't matter that that, that license is expired and all that stuff. It didn't even matter after that. Right? So you have to realize that Moors on our side of the nation, think this is a joke and unreal. And they're riding with the democracy. And all they're about is the democracy. They're not even about Moors having their own separate stuff and the democracy doing their separate thing. They're not about that. They're about being in the democracy. Cipher with the stake. These people are cipher. They say, you call yourself indigenous tribes, we'll call ourselves Moors, and, and let's show some unity. When that's not unity. Now, you, people really playing games with the people. Because you know nationality is the order of the day more, and you know that Lenape is not a nationality, because Lenape called herself Moors. So if they call themselves Moors, and then people today are saying, well, no, we're not, 
Moorish, Zionist, Jews. We're Hebrew Israelites now. We're GMT and we're IRA are of, of the of the Yahweh covenant and whatever. Their foundation was that they're Moors. What why are they not saying that, that that's what they are? Like again, why aren't they connecting themselves to the empire? Why do they keep sticking with this nation, nation, nation thing when there's an empire? We're not denying that there's quote unquote indigenous named tribes that formed ourselves into nations and they look like us. They look like Olmecs. We're, we're not denying that. We're saying there's an empire. As Moors, we're part of an empire. Yes, our nationality is Moorish American. Yes, we're in Morocco. That's an empire. The country of Morocco is over there in Africa. We're the resurgence of the Moroccan Empire. The one that you forgot about. The ancients that you knew that were going to return. We're them, the Moorish Americans. Now, everybody's supposed to be riding with the ancients that have returned. Well, you want to be your fiction. You want to be a fiction that, that you started being because you didn't want to be the Moors. You want to be some fiction instead of being what we're supposed to be. We're talking about 20s, Juali came. We're not talking about, he, it was 500 years ago, Juali came. 1920s, he came. Told us our nationality. UN pops up saying that the American Declaration from OAS pops up saying that they recognize the right to a nationality. And then we're still saying we're colored people. We're saying we're colored still. It's a declaration. It's not law. You see? But but again, we a lot, like we said before, if you're starting with the wrong psychology and the wrong narrative, what ends up happening? You end up collecting things that agree with your wrong narrative. And it leads you into further error. And it makes it tough for you to backtrack. Yeah. Correct yourself. Absolutely. So that's mm -hmm. when you go on record and you start declaring things and, and you're come on. Come on. hanging your hat in places that, you know. So, so um now, now all this is happening, all this is happening on a you know, on a world stage in terms of the, the UN. Yeah. Correct yourself. Absolutely. So that's mm -hmm. when you go on record and you start declaring things and, and you're come on. Come on. Hanging your hat in places that, you know. Come so. Wait, 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 where's somebody have a hat on other than him in here? Like, this is what I'm talking about, the slick, the slick dissing stuff. Because wh why would you say hang in your hat if you're talking with a more? Why? Why would you do documentaries on noble Drew Ali and all that stuff to not say that you're Mars now. What, what, what's, what's the point? What was the point? What was the point of what was the point of Yasin Bey putting more Science Temple Convention picture on the back of the album cover for him not to say he's Bey now? What would be the point of doing that? Are we going to do a documentary with Noble Drew Ali and all that stuff? And go interview all these Moors and all that stuff and you're still talking about you're Indian in 2022? You're some tribe? 
oh no, you're a nation? No, but you're not part of the empire. So you're going to have a slave name and an Indian name. So why not have a Moorish name too? If you know that we're Moors and all that. If you know that we're Moors, and you're going to interview Sharif Bey, this is not some nobody more. This is not nobody more. This is not just some pull somebody off, off YouTube more. This is a more who's been around. Been around. And this is the, the passes game that they play. Like not dealing with the reality, not dealing with the whole deal. Playing games with you. Is this this is a this is a this is a get likes and get views generation. And these people are old school. Because the benefits of marrying an Indian had pretty much run out. Like, you wasn't going to be able to get land and all that because the Indians had lost all their land, right? And these were the Europeans they got accustomed to. So they created a lot of these laws. And I, like, we think the one drop rule is for us. It was for them to be able to identify them. who to not intermix with. Come on. You know what I mean? If they got one drop, don't fuck with them. It's when right. in doubt, do without. Right. You know That's that was right. something they were teaching to the you know what I mean for them to stay away from you know, it's, it's a whole bit it's it's a lot. I don't wanna get sidetracked. But right. um the remedy that people are searching for, right? I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I, I had a friend that you know, we were at Todd's Three's classes. I used to go sit over his classes, we sat there, you know what I mean, took notes. Right? There's no way that you're going to Taj Tariq Bay classes and leave those and you didn't proclaim and declare your nationality. No way. If you did, you're, you're not really right. You're not really right. Right? Sharif Bay learned from Taj Tariq Bay. And even though he's not in line with where Taj Tariq Bay is with regard to activity, even though he's not in line with him or whatever like that, he, kn he knows he's a more. He knows he's a more. Is the bay right, bay, bay's right there. Bay's, bay's right there. For someone to go to Tosh Street Bay classes and leave. Because remember, Tosh is signing stuff on the spot. He's witnessing right there. It's not even seal it right there for you and everything. It's not even. Because it's your birthright. You, after we do, do this lecture over here for five hours or whatever like that. And then you're going to take this and go out and do some BS with it then that's on you. Because he already cleared his karmic debt calendar because he's witnessing something for you that you went to all these moors all over the damn country and couldn't get a witness. And couldn't get it sealed because you're not a member of their whatever. Had a hard time until you went to this Taj Street Bay stuff and you got all your stuff witnessed. And sealed. And for nothing. Free.
because we're Moors. You're supposed to be living by a certain principle, so dealing with Moors shouldn't be an issue. It's only an issue when Moors violating the principles. It's the only time there's an issue. Once Moors are living by the principles, no issue. Zero issue. So, yes. one of my, my friends got a, a ticket, and he was fighting it. You know, he's like, I'm fighting it, whatever it was. He fought right. it. Right. So he went right. in there, and he's standing on his Morris thing, and he's going through the whole thing, and he's... And the judge keeps suspending it and postponing it, and it goes, does this for two years. So he finally beats the case, right? right. Right. Beats the case right. after going through all this stuff. And after he beats the case, the judge said to him, you could have just beat this on the law. You didn't need all that. I'm a Moorish American and I this and I that. Da -da 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 -da, and going through all the other stuff. He was like, you could have just beat this on the law. So doesn't that mean that that judge is a criminal if they let this stuff go on for two years and they're going to dismiss it anyways? How come they don't talk about that part? How come they don't talk about the criminality of this jurisdiction of a court that took this brother, took this Aboriginal and Indigenous individual through court process for two years to dismiss it anyways? Doesn't that sound like disregard for the law? Doesn't that sound like violating people's rights? Now, if you're going to dismiss it anyways, why would this stuff be going on for two years? Oh, don't forget taxpayer. Don't forget tax taxpayer, the taxpayer Negroes. Don't forget that's your taxpayer's finance and all that stuff. But just remember, don't think you're on the side. You have nothing to do with this. You have everything to do with this. With these people acting criminal. You funded their criminality, taxpayer guy. You funded their criminality. Look at Moore standing up for rights and talking about well the the judge said all he had to do was do this. So why didn't why didn't the judge say that two years ago? Why did the judge wait two years to say you didn't have to go through all that? You could have just said this. Isn't that, doesn't that show you something? Because they want you to look at the fact that, see, look what this Moore had to go through. Two years he was in the court, and he, all he had to do was do this, pff, this Moore stuff, and then they start going down that. No, it's, no, it's not the Moore stuff, anything. It's that the judge is a criminal. Because stuff should have been dismissed when he sent the writs in. He shouldn't even have to go to court. When the paperwork hit the court, the court was supposed to say, oh, it's a more. We don't have jurisdiction. And call them, say, Mr. Bay, Mr. L, your case is dismissed. So you have to come to court tomorrow. That's what's supposed to happen. The fact that it went on for two years lets you know that these people are criminal. The fact that these people said, Iyanga Bay's bail, 3000 Just give us the finance and she's free to go. Here's the finance. Oh, sorry. Um, we don't open till 5 p.m. <laughs> we don't put till 5 p.m. for people to get bail. We only do that from 5 p.m. You think this stuff's not rigged?
You don't see the, the, they're playing rigged with you? And then you're not up in arms? And then more is supposed to be putting you on game, using these as opportunities to put you on game. They're playing go along, get along, gang. They're playing go along, get along, gang. You know what I mean? And that's not to take anything from the Moors because he learned that from the Moors, right? right. The law right. aspect of it, what the remedy to actually save them, he learned it. You right. know what I mean? He, he did the extra other stuff trying to demonstrate for the Moors. You know what I mean? Trying to, no you know, he was proud of what he learned, but no he just flat out told him, this shit would have been over a year and a half ago if you just would have came with the law. So what I'm saying is the remedies are there we just have to be intelligent enough to navigate and find them. Yes, there were many times where back in the day they burnt our villages down. They did all these things. But guess yes. what? It's, it's not going to happen no more. Come on, brother. And it's and not going to happen because you're not going to allow it to happen. Because once you build it, you're not going to let nobody take nothing from you. You're not. You're living in a different time now. You're not. And you know what I'm we've been conditioned. And, and this is nothing we have to admit. And, and, and some of the comments are reflecting this. We have to admit that we've been in, we've been conditioned to be dependent now. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit of guts to really own something. Yeah. It takes some responsibility to own something, and we for too long have been accustomed to looking good losing. Mm. Like we know we've been reclassified. That conversation was zipped up in the bag ten years ago. We know that. We know that. Right. And guess what? They not gonna give you nothing back. Nope. They not. No, nope. it's too much going on. Like Respect. my tribe is from New York. Mm. You think they ever? And guess what? We got a suit in against. We put a suit in against New Manhattan nine years ago. You, you think go. you think that's ever gonna come to fruition? Right. You think they ever gonna give that land back? Right. They may give us a portion, but they're not gonna give that back. That's unrealistic. It's too much has happened. They right. Know. So we got to start being realistic. Well, I mean, I, I spoke, you know, my wife's family are going through something like this in New Orleans. Yes. Right? Where their land was taken. Mm -hmm. They know the exact company that did it, this, everything. It ain't like some, hmm, I wonder who took our land. No, they know exactly who got it. They still operating a business on it now. Mm -hmm. Right? So, they. Why? Why are they operating their business on it still now? Bet you because they're saying they're Indian. Bet you because they're saying there's some tribal whatever as opposed to talking empire. Because not even the corporate United States people have jurisdiction over the empire. And again, this is this is going back again to why CM Bay did start doing what he was doing, why Alim Bay started doing what they're doing, why Taj Tree may start doing what we're doing. Why RV may start doing what we're doing. Why we start doing what we're doing. Because these people sold out. You've been supposed to have everything back. You're supposed to be trying to get it now, 100 years later. Your own sold you out. Now they're making you think that there's some conscious thing and some this thing and then this thing and then these things are going... That's not what's going on. You've been sold out. And and the game's over and you're still pretending like there's a game going on. And then some people are sitting down moving pieces with you because, because they, they know that you're dumb. They want to tell you. They'll play your little game with you. Because they know, for, for real, for real, we're not ready. That's what that's what they're really saying without saying it. Then why aren't we ready? Because we don't want to deal with national affairs. And recognize that nations are subordinate. The only people who talk about the Moroccan Empire are the Moors and modern Europeans who study that history. Everybody's playing nations. And tribes, the municipality of the federal, and I'm 
right? The only way that you're going to make it through the fire is with Drew Ali up front. Why everybody's trying to make it through the fire doing what they want to do? It ain't going to happen because Drew Ali already set the template. No other anybody else we need to go follow them to see something. When will it, when will it sink in? Not realizing stuff is, stuff is regressing because we don't want to stick to the point. We are not Negro, Black, Colored, or Ethiopian. That was in the 20s. Now, you got about 50 commas that you're going to put in there that we're not that. We're Moors. Keep assuming jurisdiction. And then you keep you giving it up by, by going with the assumed jurisdiction. You want to know how come stuff's not getting better? Why can't we fix this and all that? One, because like we said, your own sold you out and game's over. You know what I mean? Take all the pieces off the board and, and start over. Because game's over. Been over. Why? Because they murdered the prophet and infiltrated. So game's over. That's why we tell Moors. Look at where you are. Any Moors there? Yeah, there's a Moors there. All right. Find those Moors and be yourself. Be Moors. If you got a temple there, it's even better. If you don't, don't worry about it. Start a school, call it Noble Juali School. I bet you, I bet you, you do something with it just because you called it that. Bet you it goes somewhere. Like we're not talking about some knucklehead or some, some dirty more doing this. They do this, they're going to fall on their sword. We're talking about sincere people who know what's up. They've been studying and you know what I mean? It's time. All right, find Moors where you're at. You know Moors there, then you be the one. That makes the difference. When we go and do dumb stuff to try to get kidnapped and all that stuff like that. There's, there's way more work for us to do. There's way more work for us to do. Unify with some other like-minded Moors and put in some work. Get your jump shots in. I don't care what you want to do, but you better have a thousand done by the time we leave. Do whatever you want. Get your shots up. This is not about stagnancy. You're a more, but you're doing nothing for the anything to do with mores. You're just, just a more. Can't just be a more. Got to be a more, and then you got to be assisting in the work that needs to be done. Not playing games with people. We're playing games with them under the guise that we're Moors. And it doesn't matter what we call ourselves. So some, some Indians could could have some conversations with Moors about what we're going to do, what we should do as a people. No, you can't. They went through the whole thing. And at the end of the day, they're not making them people give that land up. They got to come to a settlement. Because right. this man then developed all types of shit on it that far exceeds the wealth. It's a whole bunch of shit going on. Right. So they got to settle and they got to get them people money. Right. Also, too, let's just keep it. Here's another thing, too. We can't we can't think selfish. This is legacy building. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll use this as an example. The RICO laws, racketeering influence, corrupt organizations that the feds developed. Right. The feds developed the RICO laws, the 848, 
to take out the mob. And they announced when they got it passed that it was going to take 30 years to do it. You know what that meant? That meant that they weren't going to be alive. Mm -hmm. The result, but they did it anyway. You yep. see what I'm saying? We thinking selfish. No, yep. that's why I talked about seventh generation. Like, yes, I could. I'm the seventh generation grandson of my um, grandfather, who was on Fleming Indian Plantation, which is now Flemington, New Jersey. Wow. Right? So I'm the seventh generation from that man. He was an Indian slave, right? Mm. In a place that we now call Flemington. Mm. Uh, the place the place is now a museum, right? Wow. So it took seven generations for all that to transpire to get me to where I'm at now. Right. Right. It's gonna take seven more generations to get us back to where we're supposed to be. That's why Thanks. you know, like, we don't do this for ourselves. There is no immediate remedy. You know no. what I mean? Um right. When you receive immediate remedy, you won't, you won't, you, it's going to slip through your hands immediately. You know here's I mean? the other part. I'm glad you brought that up, brother. Right? When Tana Hesty Coates was in front of Congress, uh, you know, a year or so ago, talking about reparations, and they, and, and, and basically, basically the powers that be did the nice political pop fake towards consideration of reparations. Remember that? Mm hmm. Right? Yo, listen. I'm not an econ uh, uh, or, um, uh, uh, economist. I'm not an economic expert. But when you look at just very basic things, and this is to your point that you just made, when you look at very basic things like our people, matter of fact, two years, four years ago, we are people that are classified socially as black mm -hmm. in America. We hit the trillion dollar spending mark back in 2016. Mm. A year, we spend a trillion dollars and better. Forbes Business School um, um, reported that, right? A trillion dollar mark, bro. So our issue really ain't money. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so well, follow me. We spend a trillion dollars a year, but we're 98% consumers, meaning we barely produce nothing, anything. Mm -hmm. So we're walking money. We're money with legs on yeah. it, right? So yeah. with that being said, if we don't really produce nothing, meaning we don't our, our, our we don't have an economy. I know. Again, they can talk all this BS because these are the same people that are the generations later of the sellouts that set this whole stuff up that have you in some religious conundrum. They set this stuff up. These same people that are talking about, oh, our people we got a trillion dollars spending. Or what are the more spending? You know what Negro, blacks, and colors are spending? Nobody's counting the, the Moors who are supporting Moors. You already know that the Negroes are gonna gonna give their finance right back to them. They ain't even, shouldn't even be surprised that they gave them a trillion notes. Why 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 wouldn't it be that? Why wouldn't it be that? They don't know any better. Why don't they know any better? Oh, because Juali came to them in the twenties. These people dropped the ball, and now they're living in the worst conditions as 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 a people. And they can't see it because they're blinded, because they're ignorant. But their eyes are open. How are you blind and your eyes are open? The game is for you to not know the parties. Why? Because if the, if there's no parties, there's no case. Nobu Ali was betrayed by his own Moors. And those people who betrayed him, they're still around today in the people who are carrying on those lineages 
of fraud after Nobu Drew Ali. Talking this one, one big happy family stuff, and they're stateless people. People who have no nationality, people are stateless. They're talking about we, we have unity with them. Check the record of everybody else, regardless of what their tribe and all that stuff. They got nationality. They're one family bearing one free national name. Why aren't these two brothers saying that they're Moors? Why is one talking about some tribal or whatever? And the other one is saying they have a nationality. But then when we talk to other Nations and then they break down to tribes. Both these tribes know that they're part. They're part of something bigger. And that bigger thing that they're part of is more a common unity for them than fighting. No different than no different than the dirty Moors talking crazy about about Moorish militia, which are some of these same people right here. Now that's that they're Moors first. Before whatever there are Moors, why are you gonna ride with the colonizer over your brothers and then talk about we don't have an economy and all this stuff? We don't don't lie to people. You have to lie. We know you're with the colonizers. We know they're with the, the we're there with the democracy. It's been apparent to us the side that these people play. They think more is supposed to be impressed. They made a Noble Drawley documentary. They're not impressed. Because everybody, 99% of the people in the video were sellouts of Noble Drawley. There was 1% of people in there who were actually with Noble Drawley. Majority of people sold out the profit for some type of selfish gain. They know that they're Moors. They heard about Moors. They got a cousin who was a Moor and, 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 and whatever. But but they're they're not it. They're playing games. They're here for games. Don't get played. Study, study, study. To know the truth about your nationality and birthrights. To know the truth. To reorganize the tribe down there. Mm. Because at that point in time, they needed people to start going into communities and taking censuses and gathering information. Right. You know what I mean? As a result of what happened with Katrina. Right. So she used that to, as I say, reorganize her tribe, her community as a tribal community. You know what I'm saying? And people kind of follow that journey. But we have a community right in uh, South Jersey, the Nancy Coast Lenape, who at one time had even called themselves Moors for political reasons. Because they bailed them to different rights. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you how deep that is, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, again, for the, you know, the, you know those those that are, that are that identify as Moorish Americans, one of the biggest mistakes that we made, many of us made, is not being able to properly identify nationality in proper context. I like how you just put that. You said they identified as Moors for political reasons, right? The name, like in, in our teachings, we say, well, what is your nationality, Moorish Americans? Why are we Moorish Americans? We're descendants of Rockets born in America. Okay, right? Nationality is sociopolitical in nature, not legal. It's sociopolitical. Nationality determines political status. It's social in nature, right? We say. But, well, didn't Drew Ali say this is no social organization and all this? So, so if Drew Ali said this is no social organization, how is somebody telling you that nationality is social political? Well, then you're going to have to go to Black's Law. 
and look up political. And then when you look up all these different forms of political and you realize, hold on a second, he wasn't specific to what political they're talking about. They're playing games with you. Because if nationality is political, and political is talking about pertaining or relating to the policy or administration of government, state, or national, if that's what nationality is, political, then you don't need to put social on there. Why are you putting social on there? The only way that they can put social on there is if they're representing from a political corporation. And then you go look that up. And it tells you about them being subordinate. And remember, these are the same people who were running for mayor and all that stuff in the corpse that murdered and raped their ancestors. They want to be the mayor of that. Because Drew Ali told these people in the 20s, this is not a social organization. The 20s, he told you that this is not a social organization. And for someone who's a representative of noble Drew Ali, supposedly, to tell you that nationality is social, is in supreme violation. They're an absolute violation. And they shouldn't be trusted. Because nationality determining political status doesn't, doesn't mean that it's social. And it doesn't mean that it's political. Because Nationality is not administration of government. Government doesn't give nationalities out. So it's not, it's not a policy of some administration. It's not a function. It's not managing some type of affairs. It's not a theory. Right? It's not about public policy. This is about birthrights. Right? Nationality is not legal. It's political. Then then people are going to have black fez on and all that stuff, and they're supposed to know the law, which we know the law. So we want to know, well, how come these people are playing games with people? Like, why why they, why'd they switch? How come Moors, who we know that were teaching us near 2008, you know, 2009, 2010, they were directly going to Sharif Bay classes. They were directly going to his classes. And these Moors weren't on some some wannabe mayor of a corpse. These morals are on right to self-identification, right to knowing and being more science. And, and something, something happened where these people switched. And some of these black fez people who know what's up. They start playing different tunes. Start ambushing elders at, at, at dinners and stuff like that. 
secretly recording stuff to get it online to try to make people look like they don't know what they're talking about. Playing games with you. Black, according to science, means death. What science? Sociology is the science. Like green means go. Red means mm -hmm. stop. Yellow means caution. All of that is the science of automating a society. That's sociology. No, that, that's, that's social conditioning. That's not sociology. What he's talking about, that's social conditioning. Because when you even look up political law, it tells you the branch of jurisprudence which treats of the science of politics or the organization and administration of government. So even if we're talking political law, black according to science mean death. Because politically, you can't do anything as far as administer government or organization if you're black. It's not happening. And if it is happening, it's a front because that can't happen. So black according to science means death is because of jurisprudence because black is civil or mortus. Which is dead in the eyes of the law. And jurisprudence is the science of positive law. So black according to science is not sociology. Black according to science meaning death. That's not sociology. That's social engineering. That's warped mindset. Is the fact that you could see yourself and see that you're brown and call yourself black is, is beyond mental. It's beyond you have mental problems. Now, there's something on the inner that, that, is, that is wrong, that needs addressing. All these people know what's up. This was a good one, though. Come on, you know I mean, that's right. That's right. Now, for those, and, and, you know, for those people who are, uh, uh, you know, on the, the, the indigenous aboriginal side that would call um, Afro-Islamic heritage, in other words, Moorish heritage, propaganda, Meredith Quinn didn't think so. Yeah. See? He didn't call Absolutely. it propaganda. Yeah. He called, fact, it, he called it a shared history. Yeah, and he identified them as being allies of yes. American Indian nations. That were yes. his exact words. Yes. So I know that when I've had conversations with different Moors, I know who I can have certain levels of conversation with yes, sir. and who I can't. Right. Yeah, they know they know they know who to have conversations with. The ones who's going to give them the pass and it's okay to be Indian because the Time Walker author said that they were allies and all that stuff. We already told you 20s, there's an empire. Once there's Moors, there's an empire. Once there's people who identify as Moors, the empire is alive. It might not be well, but it's alive. Once there's Moors, and there are Moors, there are people who know the truth about their nationality and birthrights and know that they're not a fiction. They know this. It's not they're assuming. They know that they're not a fiction. They want to talk with those Moors. 
They want to talk to the Moors who want to play games with them. Right. There was also something back here. I can't remember. I think it was from here. You know what I'm saying? But that's actual fact. Meredith, Meredith Quinn stated that the Moors who controlled the rest of the... He stated they controlled the rest of the world. They were right. controlled the rest of the known world. Right. And they were responsible for many of the laws that govern us. Right. Meaning they taught the Europeans civilization, culture. And now those Europeans were imposing their laws and their rules on us. Which That's they it. learned from the Moors. That's it. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's there's a long history that definitely connects different groups yes, sir. from all over the planet. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? And um I think the more people get past the um like I hope you all wh whoever truly internalizes that you have Native American ancestry, American Indian ancestry, Aboriginal ancestry. Um, I hope you're past the point where you're still trying to convince yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because that's a conversation, and it takes a while for you to get past that. Yes. You know what I mean? But there are many of us that have, you know, many people who have gone through that chamber, and that once you get beyond that, proving it to yourself, Come that's on. when you start moving like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times people need others to agree with them so they can feel confident in what they believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But this is where the genealogy comes comes to you know fruition. And that would be like the last element on this sandwich that you throw in there. You throw in the genealogy. Right. You know what I mean? And all these elements we've been talking about tonight right. are what has created the cultural handbook yes. for today's yes. Aboriginal yes. community. Right. Forget all that BS, because also remember that they're in this thing. At Grand Sheik Nature's classes, how you go to Tar Street Bay classes, you go to Tar Street Bay classes, you go to Grand Sheik Nature classes, and you're still talking about some Indian stuff or whatever? Man, stop this nonsense. Islam, Mark. Islam, Grand Sheik. Islam to all the Moors. Honest Prophet Nubu Ali. Oh, I don't know if something's blocking your mic, but you're a little bit low. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you just sound a little bit low. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, but you sound, I don't know. I don't know if you want to punch in again. Okay. Just exit it and all right. try it again. All right. Here I come. Hold on. All right, Mark. They got to try. I don't know what they're trying more, but you know they got to try. Let's see. Islam, or... Islam, how I sound now? Oh, yeah, there, there we go. All right, all right, Islam, man, praise Allah. High honor to Prophet Nubu Ali. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know about these guys right here, but, uh, you know, you know, I sent you the thing, man. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have been bust that out, the, um, how these Indians so-called are sellouts when they, when they so-called sold our land. Yeah. You know, um... I, I, I kind of want to want to show a little bit of that, just for the fact that uh, they not realizing how this thing really went down uh, in the in the true history, and that the prophet he already told them, hey, all you Indians and all that kind of stuff, you're Moors, and he he did it in in his hades, right? So first, I just want to show this for anybody who doubts. <clears throat> Check my man's out with his fez. Just a cool picture mm -hmm. I found on the, uh, it's called the Mythology of the Two Americas, and it's talking about North and South. So all you Indian whoever's, right, you're talking your Indian stuff, there's a fez right there for you in stone, right? <clears throat> but let's go over here. Let's go over here. <clears throat> all right. Prophet said, 
uh, I'm on my Kush day, Islam the Kush day. He said, um, you are not, you are from Missouri. I have got to show you. All right. Keep that one in mind. Mm -hmm. And the more, and the prophet also said the Moors were living up and down the Mississippi river before the European man came here. Right. So all you Indians, let's look in this, this old book here and uh, let's see if we can figure out a thing or two. Um, not to cut your wisdom, Grand Sheik, I'm just cutting in. You know oh, I mean? no, you already know how it goes, Warren. Yeah. Go in. History, Go in. History of Island County, Indiana, 1880. All right. So let's, let's get down to some of this aboriginal history. Let's see how these people talk about us. Now, this book is old. It's from 1880. <laughs> it's a 150-year-old book name here. So we're going we gonna to see what they're talking about. All right. Um. I just want to point out a couple key points. Now, remember, this 1880, right? And considering the question, who were the original inhabitants of the region of country subsequently known as the Valley of the Kikianga? That's what they call that where I'm at, so-called near Fort Wayne. It is perhaps of little consequence to the casual reader whether they were white or copper colored. All right, that's that's very interesting. You know, we on the copper colored thing, so they go there. Uh, civilized or barbarian in their habits and instincts, right? Yet yeah, in this day of ethno ethno uh, ethnological uh, inquiry, the historian, though his field be a local one, is expe expected to reflect whatever light the development of the age may have brought forth in that regard, right? <clears throat> Just about to go in. It uh, is not in accord with the spirit of inquiry to ignore the investigation and the uh, dis, sorry, what is that? And dispose of the issue without comment. So they talk about the color and the, who were these people? That this country was inhabited by a race of people possessing a higher order of intelligence and mechanical skill than is generally awarded to the Indians. Mm. So now they're already talking about, hold on, hold on. There was a race of people here that were already, they, they were obviously outdoing the Indians, so-called, right there. You know how the Moors, we say that, right? <laughs> so-called. Yep. The Indians, so-called is perhaps unquestioned. So they know there was a race here before them uh, that was so-called more mechanically skilled and all that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, the evidences of this superiority exist in forms uh, more or less distinct in every locality, in numerous localities within the territory of Indiana, India, right? Prehistoric remains are conspicuous attracting the attention of archaeologists to an investigation of them as a means of determining the identity of the people contemporaneous therewith. So contemporaneous meaning, hold on, there was, there, was, there was some what we think of Indian red men, and then there was, there was people who were mechanically advanced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of, the, of these remains, Allen County has her share as the article discussing that topic um, in another part of this work. With all the developments thus far made, the question who the mound builders were, whence and when they came, and what was their history is yet unanswered. All right. Now, look. Look at this. We're going to go down here. At the time when the existence of the American continent was made manifest to the civilized world, when people started coming over here, it was peopled by a race who, in the absence of a more appropriate name, now come on, y'all, this 1880, they know the name, but listen what they said. These people talk in code, words or you know, etymology, we know our Taj Tariq lessons. At the time when the existence of the American continent was made, manifested the civilized world, 
it was peopled by a race who, in the absence of a more <laughs> appropriate name, mm -hmm. you see how they got to play with you? Yeah. A more appropriate name were called Indians. Don't 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 get it twisted because it's M O R E that they don't. That's that's. There's other words they could have used there. Is what I'm getting at. But it's just this mm -hmm. is this the code. Appropriate name were called Indians because of their fancied resemblance to the inhabitants of the Eastern Indies. Right? And perhaps for the more significant reason that they were found in the course of travel incident to the discovery of a more direct route to the Indies and China. All right? So they look like the people. Now go, go Google Eastern Indies or India, right? And see what the people looked like in 1880 who were the called so-called Indians. And then they're telling you who these so-called mound builders look like, for one. All right? Now, these guys, they're claiming that they're um, the what? The um, the so-called Algonquins or the, the Delawares and all that? Okay. So let's deal with that. Remember, the prophet said you are from Missouri. Mm -hmm. The Moors were living up and down the Mississippi River and all this kind of stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. They're talking about the different aboriginals. But they said the principle, sorry, let me make sure y'all can see, of these divisions um, is now known as the Algonquin or Algonquin, which embraces, among others, the Miamis, claimed to be one of the most perfect types and indeed one of the most numerous in past ages. Next to the Miamis, if not entitled to rank first, is the Delawares or Lene Lenapes. Right? So who call themselves Moors, the Delawares, the Lene Lenapes. First mm -hmm. rank. First rank. And I'm going to show you that in one second. All right. Now the Algonquins, before we get to the to the Delawares and stuff, and they're gonna show you what the real deal is. The Algonquins. Because that's who the so-called Delawares and the Lene and the Lapes are a part of a family, but it's really just a language. That's what they're not telling you. It's just like when we say Hebrew, Arabic. Mm -hmm. As a family, the Algonquins as a family have been migratory in character for says schoolcraft. We find some traces of this language, because it's a language in ancient Florida. It is it first assumes importance in the sub genius of the Potawi circle in Virginia. Let's go down here. The term Algonquin appears to have been first employed as a generic word by the French for the old Nipersinians, Ottawa's Montagnes and their conquerors in the valley of the St. Lawrence. Hmm, named after conquerors, huh? It is applied to the Saltours of St. Mary, the Muscogos of Canada, and as shown by recent vocabulary, the Blackfoot of the Upper Missouri. You are from Missouri. So once again, you Indian guys, you, you keep getting your foot in the mouth because the prophet already called all this BS out. He was telling you who you were back then. The uh, Saskatchewan's, the pillagers of the Upper Mississippi and the Crees or the Kistanos of Hudson's Bay. Where were we living at, Moors? <laughs> the Moors were living up and down the Mississippi River before the European, uh, European man came here. Boom, so you're yeah. done. You're done, uh, Indian people. The prophet already called your card before you was born. He knew you was going to pull it. So he already told you you was from Mississippi, Missouri. He already told you that the Moors were living up and down the Mississippi River. And all the Algonquin family... Of, of tribes that spoke that language were known as the Moors of the Mississippis. All mm -hmm. right. So now, if we're going to deal with this Delaware thing real quick for the last time, and then I'm going to show you how all you Indian guys actually sold out everything. You know, everybody likes to blame it on the Moors and the Moors sold it. No, it was y'all. 
It was all you Indian guys, so be careful about wanting to be an Indian guy. All right. Uh, the Delawares. The Lene Lenape, better known perhaps as the Delaware Indians, are entitled to take high rank in the Algonquin family. If indeed they are not entitled to be recognized as the prototype of that most extensive division of the aboriginal race of America. Mm. So who, who prototype? If they Indians and then they Indians, how they the prototype? Oh, because they're Moors. <laughs> Everybody knows the Lene Lenape. Better known, perhaps, as the Delaware, were the prototype, the high-ranking family, classified as Moors. So uh, I'm on the license. Uh, uh, I'm on the license. Who's got it on the license? I said the 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 Lenape. Oh yeah. Had the M had the M on the license yep. for more. Yep. So what you what you talking about? Who? <laughs> how are you Indian? How are you a Lene Lenape and you're not a Moor and you're not claiming Moor? Who's the prototype? Who's the first? The Lene Lenape. The ones, the only ones um, readily recognized in, in, on legal documents over there in the so-called colonizers uh, rented estate. The Lene Lenape classified as Moor specifically as a tribe. And then they're going to tell you here in 1880 they the high rank. The prototype of the aboriginal race of America. So if they're Moors, that means the prototype of the aboriginal races of America are Moors. Think we more is. Yep. And one of them you could check is this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Right? So here's how the story went down. So we can lay this. We Indians uh, stuff down... Uh, to rest because the Indians, the so called Indians who you guys talking about, the so called red men, they're the ones who sold us out. Okay, that's what happened. The Lenape and all those Moors basically told them, Hey, hey, y'all can live in a part of this land, just don't ever sell it because that's for Moorish descendants. All right. And, but I know y'all, y'all came over from, you know, you guys are mongoloid mix. So you got our blood in you. It's all good. But you guys are a little more wild bunch. You don't really do the, um, the same things we do. So here, you can be over here. If you want to come get down with Islamism all the way, then you come over here. And then, you know, we'll hook it up. But other than that, y'all can be over here. That's why we had the sprawling cities of Chicago, Mecca, and St. Louis, so-called, with, the, with, the, with the, the grandeur. We let them live on the plains so they can hunt buffalo so they can do their thing. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's how this went down as far as um, the land start getting sold to the west of the Ohio River. All right? Because everything that's not the colonies, the 13 colonies, and I know you know this, GS, I'm just telling the people. Yeah, um, yeah, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. Um, everything that's not <clears throat> in the 13 colonies, they weren't even supposed to step a foot on. Period. And they're supposed to sign that lease at the end of the 50 years, okay? And I'm going to show you what happened. Because Indian guys mongoloids folded on us <laughs> and they started making deals with these people and they started going against us all right this is about um the indian so-called treaties at and affecting fort wayne okay Let's try to put it this way by the treaty of greenville ohio concluded on the third day of august look up that treaty treaty of greenville <clears throat> 1795 between major general anthony wayne commanding the army of the united states and sole commissioner for the good purposes above mentioned to put an end to destructive to a destructive war to settle all controversies and to restore harmony and friendly intercourses between the said United States and Indian tribes and hmm. the Sekums chiefs and warriors of the Wyandots, 
Delaware's, Shawanos, Ottawa's, Chippewa's, Potawatomi's, Miami's, Eel Rivers, Weas, Kickapoo's, Piankashaw's, and Kaskakaya's. The first agreement concerning the lands and the grant thereof by the Indian at the end, at end in the vicinity of Fort Wayne was consummated. Okay. Now I want to just go down a little bit of a part, so we don't have to read through all the unnecessary, not unnecessary, but you know. Um, essentially, this general tells them, "Hey, we made a treaty, right? Right." Uh, general Wayne said, "We made a treaty." There was an Indian chief, a Shechem, named Little Turtle here. He said in reply, you have informed us that the Treaty of Muskingum shall be the foundation on which the present treaty shall be founded. That treaty was held by the six nations and by a few young men of the Chippewas, Ottawas, and Potawatomis. We Miamis and the Wabash tribes are totally unacquainted with it because what was going on was these colonizers were finding one of just one of the males of the of the village or the tribe and you know how we get told the stories of well they gave him some blankets and some fire water and he gave him 22 million acres of land or whatever they were doing that with guys who weren't even of rank in the tribes yeah so they were going to like you know little 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 bird or whatever and going hey little bird they were going. They were going to. They were going to Rami and asking him about Rise of the Morning. Exactly. <laughs> you. 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 If you don't. If you guys don't understand what these colonizers was doing, <laughs> if you guys don't understand what these colonizers were doing, all you got to look up is the history of Pizarro with the Incas, Hernan Cortez. It's a divide and conquer. It's the same schedule. All they know that they got to do. Is push one more into the other more, make that more step onto that more shoes, his new white Air Force Ones or whatever, and they're gonna fight. Yep. <laughs> that's all the, yep. that's the plan every time. They say, Why would I change it? We can just do the same little thing that we always do. Same game. We push these guys same to game. each other in the club and then they start fighting each other and stop. And they don't yep. go after the guy who pushed them. Yeah. It's the same old, same old. So he said, We're unacquainted with that, right? Now he goes down here. He tells them all their boundaries. He tells them all their boundaries, the, the, the chief, right? He said, man, look, General Wayne, here's where you're supposed to be, right? And this is where we're going to be, essentially. So he gets down to this part. He says, I have now informed you of the boundaries of the Miami nations where the great spirit, Allah, <laughs> placed my forefather a long time ago and charge him not to sell or part with his lands. Hmm. It is not our custom to sell lands. Allah said, hey, forefathers, who is his forefathers? What did I just show you? Who is the first, the archetype, the aboriginal type in the Americas? The Delawares, the Lene, the Napes. So the Moors. So he's telling you his forefather, the Moor. A long time by the by Allah <laughs> told him a long time ago, mm -hmm. these mongoloids, hey, don't sell apart with these lands. Do not what they do? sell. What? Go ahead, Grand Sheet. And, and, and what they do? They sold them. <laughs> now, <laughs> now watch this. This I'm gonna show you how these Indians folded on us. This is how they <laughs> folded, man. This is crazy. We let them live here and do their thing, and they folded on us. And I'm going to show you because he tried to stand strong, right? So when we're talking about the Moor who said, hey, man, two years I stood on this and then I finally beat the case. These guys, they folded because, yes. you know, it wasn't theirs to really part with or decide to part with anyway. So mm -hmm. that's why mm -hmm. they use terms, everything's for selling America because, of course, it is when it's not yours. Everything's profit yeah. for you. Yeah, call it call it wilderness of North America and all that. Wilderness. Everything's for grabs here all yeah. of a sudden. Yeah. So the great spirit placed my forefather a long time ago and charged him not to sell or part with these lands, but to preserve them for his posterity. Who is his? He didn't say, he didn't say to preserve them for our, as in, you know, hey, us other red Indian guys. He said for his. So 
um, you know, is 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 it's very telling that he he's talking about almost in a in a separate type of way because wouldn't he be his posterity if he's claiming to be a direct yeah. Yeah. descendant or whatever? You know what I mean? Just 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 weird wording, right? Then he says, "This charge has been handed down to me. I was much surprised to find that my brothers differed." so much from me on this subject for their conduct would lead me to suppose that the great spirit and their forefathers ooh, separation again mm -hmm. had not given them the same charge that was given to me but mm -hmm. on the contrary so he's saying they got the same forefathers in the sense that somebody at the top of the head of this thing the highest rank is telling him what's going on and what to do with this but on the contrary, had directed them to sell their lands to any white man who wore a hat. <laughs> As, hey, what's that man wearing? He don't got the feathers on. He an he aboriginal indigenous. He got a hat on. As <laughs> soon as he should ask it of them. Right? <laughs> very, very telling. So, look, he's standing Whoa. strong right there, right? Boom. He like, we don't sell our lands because... Um, they said it's for the posterity, the Moors, because basically what he's saying is the Lene Lenape, the Moors, told them don't sell nothing because it's for the Moorish children mm -hmm. back then. So the once posterity. again, what's the prophet telling you? You from Missouri? The Moors are living up and down the Mississippi, Indian guys. All right, let's see here. Now, here's the funny. Now, let's just fast forward. Let's just say he tried to stand strong and do all that. Something went down in the back room. Something went down in the back room. Now, this is the same little turtle, the same guy, right? Look at his language change. I'm just fast forwarding. A day or two afterward, when the deliberations were nearly concluded, General Wayne again spoke, addressing the Miamis, after reviewing generally the objections stated by them to the proposed terms, he said. Right? Um... And he goes into the terms. Now, hold on. Wasn't he just saying we don't sell the land? Mm -hmm. Right? He just said we don't. What do you What do you mean terms? What 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 yeah. terms? All of a sudden, it's the treaty was concluded on the third of August. All the provisions and stipulations have, having been thoroughly considered and assented to by all the representatives of tribes present. When the essential provisions had been agreed upon, Little Turtle expressed his satisfaction in the following forcible language. Elder brother. Oh, now he's his elder brother, huh? Your younger hmm. brothers, the Miamis, now thank you for your sentiments you have expressed and for bearing the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did they bury that hatchet at? <laughs> Where did they bury it? In the, in the skulls of the, of the mound building? Right. Their brothers, and their, brothers, and their brothers, their forefathers. <laughs> they offer at the same time their acknowledgement to the elder brother of the 15 fires for throwing his tomahawk. With no strong, with so strong an arm into the great ocean, we are convinced of the sincerity which these actions are performed. Um, I do not believe the hatchet was ever buried so deep before buried so deep. Yeah, right. <laughs> They threw that hatchet right into a, to into somebody with a fez head, <laughs> right? So then he goes, and the and the said Indian tribes. This is your boy who was just. We don't sell the lands because the Moors told us not to sell the land. And the said Indian tribes will allow the people of the United States a free passing by land and by water, as one and the other shall be found convenient through their country along the chain of posts here and for mentioned. That is to say from the commencement of the uh, portage aforesaid or at near Loramie store, then it's along said portage and he goes into all the places they can be. All right. The treaty was signed on part of the Miamis by or Legris, Mescona or Little Turtle and or another one named White Loon. Now what's interesting and how you know they sold out is because um, here let me see. Let me see if I can find it real quick, and then, then that's it. That's all I got. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. To John Baptist Richard. Here, you know they sold out because 
they started now getting land from the European all of a sudden. From the said session, certain reservations, reservations were made, Indians on reservations, right, were made among others. A reservation of 10 miles square opposite the mouth of the river, um, a Boit, a Boit is a township here, to Jean Baptiste Richardville, because all these Indians start taking French Christian names. This mm -hmm. is the son of that chief or, and all that kind of stuff. Principal chief of the Miami Nation of Indians. <laughs> Three sections of land beginning almost 25 rods below his house. So, so, so now he's portioning off lands for himself um, to Joseph Richardville and Joseph Richardville Jr., two sections of land, to Francois Lafontaine and his son, two sections of land, because all these Indians start taking French Christian names getting a little piece, right, to the son of George Hunt, one mm. section of land. Before it was, we don't steal the land. To mm. Little Turtle, one section of land on the south side of the Wabash. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you don't sell land, Little Turtle, but now you're taking one section of land. Taking, taking a section of his, of his, <laughs> of his estate. <laughs> of his own estate. <laughs> That's like somebody coming in your house going, all right, man, now that I took your house, what room are you going to stay in? Uh, yeah. I'll stay in the bathroom. All right. Just make sure you scoot over when we got to come in and take a poop. You know? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what the hell is going on here? He was, he was talking tough. But that's that. Um, And then it just goes on to show all the little daughters and all the little uh, people who took Christian names, so to say. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, how they got little sections of land. You know, one section of land for his son. Uh, to James Kenag, son of the sister of Okios, chief of the River Huron, Potawatomi's one section of land. Okay. I, I, I thought y'all didn't sell the land. I thought the Moors told us to save it. And once again, so y'all want to be Indians and whatnot, I guess go right ahead. But just know that you were the well, real that sellout. Is. Yeah. You were the real sellout. Not the Moors. The Morris told you don't sell the land. What y'all do? <laughs> you gave it up for popcorn. <laughs> Slice of pizza and a soda. You know? You're now complaining about the hair and the pizza. <laughs> complaining about <laughs> land that they sold. So if you call yourself <laughs> one of the Indian tribes, you sold the land. You sold your portion. You better go fight for that one section you still got or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Quote unquote reserves. Yeah, get your reserves. Yep. That's all you portion for because you're stateless. Yep. That's just that's just the that's just the truth for the matter. You go ahead and um try to get what you can, I guess. The Moors, we coming for the whole pie because we told you don't sell it. So yep. you should be thinking us that we're the only ones able to get the land back and working on it every day. That you sold, and thank God, you know. Matter of fact, I was just thinking about this too, Grand Sheik. Like that right there, like uh, that's just perfect legal document, uh, perfect um, just to show. Hey, Moors, we had nothing to do. Anybody want to accuse Moors of selling land? That's yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> we get so our, our little brothers, our little our little, yeah. you know, wards or whatever, sold the dang land to you guys. Uh, and no, that wasn't what the situation was at all. They had no right. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact. I got proof to tell you that he knew we told him, don't you sell that land. <laughs> He's saying it. Don't saying it himself. Land. He's saying it himself. Saying it himself. Don't sell the land. Okay, because we can't sell the land. That's the custom. How are you going to sell our trust? You know, how are you going to sell your, your trust corpus? Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to sell my grandpa's stuff. It's not yours. It's your grandpa's. Yeah. You can't yeah. sell it. We knew that, and he knew that. So all you Indian guys, you can't you can't hide behind the uh, you know none of that. You did it. Y'all did this. <laughs> get out, get out of sin, get out of sin, and proclaim that you're Moors and start showing allegiance to really what you're supposed to be showing allegiance to. That's it. You can't complain. Mm -hmm. You sold it, and I proved that you sold it. You calling yourself a damn Indian? They calling you Indian? It's right in line. You sold it. Yep. Yeah, you even have their ID card saying you're Indian. Indian. So what you trying to get back? You, 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 this ain't, 
you, they didn't give you a receipt. You don't get to, uh, you know what? I don't like this reservation. I'm going to turn this back in and get my land back. That's not how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done. It's over. The deal was made. The deal was made. Yeah. So call yourself an Indian. You're right in that lineage. And um, with that, I yield the floor. Just a lot more. Give thanks. Islam, my brothers, sisters, keep being Moorish. Keep, keep following. being more. <laughs> Noble Drew Ali, that's the only way. Only soul that's foundation. The, way. the only soul foundation. What Drew Ali brought. Ain't nothing else. And you, you don't need nothing else. You got the golden gun. What do you need? What else do you need? You got the golden gun. And, yeah. and, and the full body armor. You got the melanin. And yeah. you got the nationality. So I don't know what <laughs> you need. What else do you need? I don't know. I don't know what else you could possibly need. Straight. You feel me? So, Islam to all the more. Islam. Stop with the Indian bull crap because you call yourself an Indian, you call yourself a sellout. Literally. Simple. That's it. So, peace and love, y'all. Carry on, great peace team. Islam. Islam. Your brother Mish, you could try it and just try it now and see if anything, see if it works. Cause maybe it was because I had somebody on. It was playing. <clears throat> if you're still on there, just send the invite. If any other Moors have anything to put out there before we get out of here, just push the invite. Yeah, that was crazy. Moors just sold it, just they sold it. Didn't think twice. They didn't think twice about it. Yeah, I know it's saying unable to join, so I don't know what's going on. Something. Something stopping, stopping it. Honest all the Moors worldwide. Remember, Noble Drew Ali's the way. People people got you know, people talk talk a good game. People talk a good game. But make sure you check what they're saying with Noble Drew Ali. And then make sure you're not just looking at Noble Drew Ali. Right. You're looking at all the other books around you too that's backing up Noble Drawley's position so that you know that who who's who's real or who's not, because there should be there should be no confusion if you're dealing with Morris. There should be no confusion whatsoever. As soon as there's confusion, know that something's up. Oh, and don't forget, Khalifamedia.com get the new get the new one by the more by the torch isonomy more got the new one on for you now just hit up khalifamedia.com support Moorish literature because in order to change the people you must change their literature and we the Moorish Americans who are documenting their spiritual, mental, emotional sojourn and, and putting it so others could receive the lessons that they got on their journey is doing exactly that, changing the people through the literature. And like we said, books are great because they could go where you'll never go, where you'll never go. 
Duch so go where you'll never go. Uninstall the Moors worldwide. Peace and love to all. Study, study, study. It's essential. Study, study, study. Take, take some time and put toward knowing more daily. Peace and love to all the Moors. Honors to the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Honors to all the mothers worldwide. Honors to all the sons. Peace and love, Moors. Islam. <laughs>